Hey guys, this is my 1991 Honda Civic. I picked this car up about mm, a week ago, essentially, and um, I decided I want to show you guys just some a bit of the progress that I'll be making, you know, while I'm putting this build together. I got it with these rims on it, um, and you know, I just decided I was going to clean it up a bit and show you guys a walk around of it. So this was me getting a first look inside the car. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the shot there, the bumper was inside. The door was a bit torn, the carpet is a bit dirty, but it's in really good condition actually. It just needs a bit of cleaning. The roof liner is pretty much intact, except for at the very back, as you can see, where it's kind of folded over. But I think that just needs to be tucked up um, behind the little molding. All the tail lights are there, the center garnish, all the pieces for the back and the, pl the plastic in the back. So let's take a look at the trunk. And there you go, the radiator is there, the AC fan, the radiator fan, the fender liner, um, the battery tray and just some other bits and pieces in the bucket. The car doesn't really have much rust, um, yeah, just a bit of surface rust. I did see a small hole on the hair, um, but it's nothing that I'm immediately concerned about because there are no pieces falling off. So I started to clean the car up a bit. I'm just kind of getting all the things out, try and get a better idea of you know what it really, really did look like on the hair, and maybe start putting it back together. The previous owner kind of gave me a few extra pieces, some extra rubbers. Um, and some of the door garnishes. Alright, so once I had all of those pieces out of the car, I kind of just started to brush all the dirt out. I didn't have a vacuum cleaner with me, so good old brush and pan. So here it is now after, you know, I kind of got the bumper fitted on. I realized that this is the wrong bumper for this year. Um, this is either off of a sedan or um, it's possibly an 88 to 89 bumper because it, it lines up, but um, lines up with the fenders, but doesn't, doesn't fit the filler piece properly. The car did meet in a small accident prior to me buying it. So, you know, I'm um, going to need a bit of body work or probably just change the fender which is what I'll probably end up doing because I wasn't really a big fan of how the corner of it looked right there. So there is this one spot on the roof here, but I mean, apart from that, it's in pretty much good condition. So I did notice that this back wheel is cambered a bit, so I'm probably going to need to take a look at what's causing that with the trailing arm. These are some old tires that I had just laying around from a previous build that I was doing. So I just threw them on. So right there, these holes are where the mid-wing actually goes. I'm not quite sure if I'll be replacing that, if I'll be keeping it or, you know, giving that to someone else or putting it up for the future. This mirror needs to be replaced. I would love to try and find the original OEM mirror if I could. And then I kind of started taking a look at the panel gaps. I noticed that the hood is rubbing in the bottom corner right there, as you can see. And then on the other side, it kind of was skewed in the opposite direction. So that says to me that the hood itself might need some adjusting. Then we took a look at the engine bay. So the plan here is to kind of just tear all the wiring out and do it from scratch as best as I can. The car was pretty much kept stuck as far as I could see. Um, all the original heater hoses are still there, the, the vacuum lines, um, 
there was a bit of lighting work done. And I think the car had a light bar before I bought it. So it's, there was some extra wires here and there. So this kind of bugged me a little bit. Um, I realized that the T-bar is being pushed up. I'm not quite sure what was causing that. I don't know if that is what is causing the, the edges here to kind of crack and twist. So I may need to either replace that T-bar or just adjust it. The traction bar um, is missing a bolt and these bushings are gonna need to be changed. I mean, they are 30 year old bushings, so those would have been changed regardless. And now we're back inside the dashboard. Ooh, it's gonna need some work. Gonna have to change that out, but no time soon, you know. Honestly, I really am just glad to have an EF again. I owned one previously, um, but that build had some flaws, had some serious rust issues and it was just best for me to part with it in the long run. So this is after me, you know, kind of cleaning it out a bit as best as I could with the brush. Um, yeah, I love that the gear knob still had the numbers visible. They weren't worn down. And as I said, the carpet was in really good condition. A bit of wiring work is going to need to be done under here, but nothing too difficult that I can see so far. And lastly, taking a look at these seats. These are actually seats from an Integra, not original EF seats, but they, they fit pretty well. And here's a last look at the car. Um, looks kind of ugly for right now, but eventually we'll be taking care of that. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.